Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 28. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our nitrous control. We're going to find we can work with either a dry or a wet style nitrous with our Holly programming and both a progressive or non-progressive style nitrous control as well. We're going to have eight different stages of nitrous that we can program and implement and we can control both fuel and spark timing and when we want to actually turn on each stage of nitrous. So we have a tremendous amount of programming flexibility in our software. In addition, we also have fail-safe strategies we can implement so that we don't spray our nitrous if we're on our two-step control or if our air fuel gets too lean there's going to be a lot of things to cover. So let's jump into our video so we can check out how to work with our nitrous control using our Holly EFI V5 software. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with nitrous control in our Holly EFI software. There's a lot of things to cover and we have a lot of flexibility for programming our nitrous control. So we're going to be going through a couple of different examples of working with various types of nitrous with our Holly EFI programming and then finally looking at what's possible with the Holly system, controlling a lot of things virtually. We're going to have a really cool example at the end that you may want to implement on your racing vehicle. So let's jump in and start to turn on the nitrous control in this particular calibration file. So we'll go up to toolbox, we'll go to add individual config, and then we'll move down here into our nitrous folder. This is where we find various types of nitrous we can work with. We have a base single stage dry nitrous, a single stage wet, a single stage progressive, and then we have a base config blank. So I'm gonna be choosing the base config blank to demonstrate the various types of nitrous control we can work with, but we do have these other options here in the select. So I'll click open right now. Now at the top, we're gonna to find that we have our nitrous bottle here, a little nitrous icon. This is gonna be where we do our programming for the nitrous control. So let's click on this right now, and we're gonna be finding that it opens up our nitrous ICF parameters for programming. So we have our basic nitrous parameters that we're gonna be talking about. We have our GPOs, or general purpose outputs, that we can tie in so we can turn on something based on the nitrous control working, a bunch of various conditions that we uh, can see down here in our drop down. We also have our different stages to program. So we have up to eight different stages of nitrous to control. Now if you're running an HP box, you're probably not going to have as many outputs as the dominator box. You're probably not going to be able to run up to full eight stages of nitrous control, but if you are running a dominator, you could potentially run up to eight stages. I'm only going to be covering maybe one or two stages here in the video, uh, or up, up to two stages, let's say, um, because typically we, we're not going to be running five, six, seven, eight stages of nitrous. It's going to typically be one or two, um, but you'll get the idea of how to program the various stages of nitrous and the programming logic that needs to follow when you're working with this. We also have a purge output here that can be used to virtually control a purge solenoid. I typically don't work with this. I typically just run a momentary button to a purge solenoid and keep it simple, but we are able to work with this here if we'd like to. It gives us some flexibility. And then finally, we have to define our inputs and outputs for the nitrous control. So the very first thing I want to cover here, um, I want to go in and talk about what we're going to have here for a stage control. So if we go here to activate, we're going to find that we have under the nitrous type, we have four different types of nitrous control that we can program and work with with our Holly system. In our drop down here, we're going to find that we have a wet non-progressive, a wet progressive, a dry non-progressive, and then a dry progressive. Let's talk about what these mean, what these represent. You may not be familiar with the terminology. So the difference between a wet and a dry nitrous system. A wet is going to be supplying fuel through fuel jets along with nitrous through nitrous jets. So we're not going to be adding any additional fuel through the fuel injector. We're going to be just essentially laying, allowing the fuel to be jetted properly to the nitrous that we're spraying. There's all kinds of formulas you can find through uh, NOS style um, documentation or any other nitrous express or any other kind of uh, nitrous systems you're working with, they'll be specifying how much fuel jet ratio to the nitrous jet ratio you need to have in order to make sure your air fuel is right. So your air fuel tuning will be done based on that fuel jetting you're working with, again, established by the company that you're purchasing your kit. Now, if you want to go in and be able to be a bit more specific with your air fuel and control it right through the holly, we would choose a dry kit. So the difference is with a dry is that we're going to be adding the additional fuel through the fuel injector and actually programming it in the holly software. So that's the difference between the wet and the dry. Now, we also find that we have a non-progressive and a progressive. So a non-progressive is going to be when we just spray the nitrous. It's going to have a simple uh, single activation. So it's going to be just turning it on. It's going to be spraying all the nitrous right off the bat. So if you're running 100 shot of nitrous, it'll spray all 100 shot worth of nitrous immediately. If we run a progressive, it's going to be a pulse width modulated output, similar to the idea of a boost solenoid or an idle control solenoid, and it is going to progressively bring the nitrous in. We can do this based on engine RPM, we can do this based on boost pressure, or we can do this based on time. So in a drag application, time-based nitrous control is really, really nice. It allows us to ramp in nitrous and spraying more nitrous as we go through the actual run, and we can find 
in that situation, uh, we can actually start to progressively put the power down. Similar to the idea of a turbocharger where you can start to ramp the boost in. If you're doing boost by speed or boost by gear, you may have your chassis or tire combination you may not be able to handle all of the power and torque at once. It might break the tires free, but if we start to progressively bring in the power as we go down the drag strip, it can allow us to put more power down. It's a bit more uh, progressive and linear in nature as far as power delivery. So we have those options. So the wet and the dry, and then the non-progressive, progressive style control. So what I want to cover here, and probably the most common when you're working with the actual nitrous controls, can be the dry non-progressive. So the dry non-progressive is going to be, again, when we go in and add the additional fuel to the fuel injector, and then we're just going to be spraying all the nitrous at once. It's very, very simple. This is kind of the old school way of spraying your nitrous. Now, if you didn't have any kind of computer control, you'd be doing a wet non-progressive, but because we can be specific with this and program how much fuel we're delivering through the fuel injector, we can actually do it this dry non-progressive style control. So I'm gonna click on this. So let's talk. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.